Hello, Judy. Hi, Karen. We'll just wait a couple minutes for others to join before we jump in. Thanks for joining today. Those of you that are on here, if you could please comment that you joined the video. Um, we're just waiting for some few more participants to join us and then we can jump into the, to the open house. Just give it a few minutes for the log in. So give me another minute or two and we'll get going.
All right, I'm going to get started. So, welcome to the St. John's Northwestern Virtual Open House. So this is our first foray into Facebook Live, so we're really glad that you're here with us today. And, and I just wanna introduce myself. I'm Paul Borns, I'm the Dean of Admissions. And so we also have um, the other admissions staff in our, our marketing and uh, online as well. So Judy Rutherford is our Director of Admissions. Zach Borns is Mission Counselor. Itzia Fernandez is our International Admissions Counselor. Diane Mikesilsberger is our Administrative Assistant and Joe Sevens is our Retention Officer. And so they're on board along with Valerie Ward um, is our VP of Marketing and Melissa um, Bishop is also on, um, and she's helped in getting this set up for today. So as you're asking questions, we'll try to answer in the, the order that that we receive them. And, and so you'll see in the comments there, just feel free to send that. I'm gonna to start today, just a little bit about what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to start today with um, some information about the Academy. I, I know that there's a wide variety of people on here. So I know the Academy, some of you don't. And so I wanna make sure that we, we start with a baseline of, of what John's Northwestern is all about. Then we're gonna talk about our, our four pillars of education that we use um, at the Academy to educate our students. Um, and then we'll talk about residence life and then some admissions and financial aid information. And then we'll, we'll finish then from there. That should take about 10 minutes here. And then from there, we'll take your questions and, and hang around here um, so you can answer those questions. So but with that said, I'm gonna jump right in and, and talk about the history of St. John's Northwestern. Um, we started as St. John's Military Academy in 1884. We were founded by the Reverend Sidney Smythe at, at four years after St. John's Military Academy was formed um, in 1888, Northwestern Military and Naval Academy was founded in Illinois by Colonel Harlan Page Davidson. And so that's important in that in 1995, the two academies merged to become St. John's Northwestern Military Academy. So both, both academies have served young men up until two years ago when we, we, decided, we decided to evolve our mission um, of educating as many students as we can in, in our four pillars um, to provide an experience for all age, for all seventh through 12th graders um, and really focus on our mission of educating students um, in grades seven through 12 in leadership um, characteristics like respect, commitment, loyalty, responsibility, service, community service, duty and honor. I will discuss more about that shortly, but I'd like to tell you um, going into our four pillars of the way we educate here at St. John's Northwestern. And, and so it's really been the foundation in our 136 year history and even after the, with the Northwestern Academy um, that we really focus on educating our students in a well-rounded way, a holistic approach. And we do this in four pillars. And so our first pillar is academics. And so from an academic standpoint, we are committed to individualized instruction, small classrooms, teachers directly involved with, with um, educating our students. And so from an academic standpoint, we are college prep. And so in addition to the college prep, um, you can have, there are two honors diplomas you can earn while attending St. John's Northwestern. Uh, the first is a STEM focus. And so you can take courses in Project Lead the Way, um, some other math and science courses to really get that STEM um, focus and, and, and move on into your college career with that. There's also a humanities uh, uh, honors diploma as well that you can participate in. And that focuses more on foreign language and, and some of the humanity courses to, to beef up the education there. Our ultimate goal with, with our students is, is providing them with that educational experience that helps them with their needs and, and what they're trying to accomplish. So when they leave us, they are well prepared to go out into the world, attend college and be productive members of leadership of society, but not only productive, but also have some leadership skills to hopefully leaders of the future. And so, you know, how does, how does that show out at the end? How, what do our students do? Um, we have a college counseling center that starts working with students. We'll work with students along along the entire time there at St. John's, but really picks up in their junior year. And so Heidi Beck is our college counselor. 
and she worked one on one with students to make sure they're applying to college, to identifying the colleges that they that they should uh, that they're interested in, and and making sure that that process um, is in place starting in that junior year. You said, and from there um, works with them until they enroll in college. And so last year we had 55 graduates. Of our 55 graduates, 52 of them went on to college. The other three went on to a service academy. And so students that do attend St. John's Northwestern can go on to the military academies, but we are, but our main focus there is to make sure that students are prepared to go on to a college or university. And so, like I said, 52 of them did that. And they're going on to colleges like Madison, Milwaukee Engineering, Penn State, um, Northwestern, uh, colleges all over the country. And so we are prepared and we are preparing our students to, to make that leap into college and be successful as they continue their careers. And so of note from the military uh, academy standpoint is that at this time, we have a student, a former SJN student at West Point in all four states that are currently there. And so we are, we are committed to helping students realize that portion of their career if that's what they want to do as well. Okay. Um, our second pillar then is athletics. And so uh, we, I'm going to talk about our typical day in a minute here, um, but I just kind of want to talk about our athletics point. We do participate in WIAA athletics in 10 sports here in the state of Wisconsin. Um, but we also are committed to every student in the afternoon of every day participate in some form of athletics. So if you're, if you're doing WIA varsity level sports, you'll go to practice starting at 3 o'clock or 3.30 in the afternoon from 3.30 to 5. Um, if you're not doing a WIA varsity competition level sport, then we have intramurals. Um, we have our Raiders program, which um, for some of our military cadets, um, it's, a, it's a team effort to do some pretty tough challenges and so forth. So students will be a part of Raiders and can do that. And we we also have our Silver Rifles program, which is a performance group that will go around um, throughout the, the Midwest mainly, but have done some, some things beyond that and perform at different competitions and for different events going on uh, throughout the, the Midwest mainly, as I said. So um, our third pillar then is our spiritual life and character development. That's a big part of, of our, our experience at the Academy is that um, our founded, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Sydney Spite Smythe is a reverend in the Episcopal Church, so we are are founded on that principle. Um, but we do require our our cadets and our students to go to chapel twice a week on a Wednesday afternoon and on a Sunday night to regroup to start the week, and it's just a chance for our 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 group of students, our student body, to get together and and you know there there's some that go on there. It's not a, a religious mass. There are masses done sometimes for students um, with communion and so forth. But for the most part, it's just to bring the core together to talk about things and, and to engage on, on what we're trying to accomplish at the academy and get everybody on the same page. So it's a really a really neat setting in, in how we in how we work with our students in and out of the class, develop them in that holistic approach. So. Then our fourth pillar is leadership. And so this is where um, we're excited that this coming fall, we are starting a leadership academy. Before I talk about that, I wanna I want go back and, and talk about our military academy. And so for 136 years, we've operated a military academy. And in 2018, we added young women to our campus that, that were part of the military academy going in. And so the military academy has built this tradition and as we're working and evolving, um, first of all, we added the, the young women in 2018, and now we're excited to announce that going into 2000, fall of 2020 here, we will have a leadership academy. And so leadership is at the core of what we're trying to accomplish here. It's part of our core curriculum. And the leadership element in the military academy is done through the junior ROT program. It's a US Army developed leadership curriculum that, that if you're in the military, Academy, you follow that prescribed curriculum through your time at St. John's Western. In the leadership side of things, which we just have developed for this year, there's also a leadership component, and it will focus more on um, providing experiential learning in different methods, different models of leadership, including some individual 
leadership models, organization, and service or servant leadership. And it, it's a very um, robust four course uh, that, that mirrors right on with the leadership. There's some that will intertwine between the two. But from, a, from an academy standpoint, as you get a military academy and a leadership academy, those are the modes of education that we're, we're providing at St. John's Northwestern. And so the, school, the students will, will intermingle in the classroom. They'll intermingle in all three pillars. But when it comes down to that leadership education, the military will focus on that junior ROTC training. And, and the leadership academy will focus on their own curriculum within, within the leadership. When they're taking math, science, social studies, English, all those type courses, the classrooms will be integrated. Um, we do have uniforms that students will wear. The military uniform will will go with the military academy, and we will have a, a uniform that goes with the leadership academy as well. And so even though it's two academies, we're still an integrated campus. We still have the students interacting. Um, we also have international students that make up 20 to 25 percent of our, our student population. And, and so we're just trying to, you know, I've said it a couple times here, that holistic approach to, to developing students and making a global community um, setting on our campus. So students have access to all different kinds of education opportunities and can, can interact with, with other um, students that can, can um, they can learn from each other um, because they're all on a different path. And, and so we want to provide as much opportunity for our students to follow that path that they're choosing, but also develop them um, with the skills necessary and characteristics to be successful once they leave us and go on to college and ultimately in life. So um, that's our four pillars. And, and so the next area then is, is a little bit about our residence life. And so our residence life is, it integrates all of these areas together that we've talked about. And so students can live on campus. We have three options. So you can be a seven-day boarding student where you're here seven days a week and, and live in our residence halls and, and so forth. Um, you can be a five-day student. And so you can come on Monday morning and, and live on campus through Friday until after athletics is over. And then you can go for the weekends. We have that option. Then we also have a day option. And, and so you can come in the morning. And, and stay through athletics, and then you go home every night and so forth. So you have those three options. Um, residence life is involved in all three options. Obviously with the boarding students, the seven and the five day cadets, they have much more exposure to that, but our day cadets also, you know, will, will be in the residence halls, will interact with students throughout the day um, as they're going from class to class and lunch together and, and all those different things in our mess. So the, the typical day then, that comes there, and we have we have trained professional staff that that run our residence halls, and so they're there. They're, they're on the floor during the the times that the the students are there, and working with them to help them um, navigate high school and, and middle school, and do the academics, get through the athletics, get through the spiritual and character development, and be there to support them and work with them to to make the experience that much. So I, I, that kind of leads into a typical day from my standpoint, you know, just to kind of put it out there so you get a sense of, of what a typical day looks like in, in the life of a student at St. John's. So they wake up in the morning, go down to breakfast, you know, by, you know, then first classes start, you know, 8.30, 8.45, um, the frame in the day. So they're in class from that until about uh, lunch at noon. Um, the, the students will come into the mess hall and eat lunch together, go back to classes in the afternoon, and then about three o'clock is athletics time. So like I said, all students are required to participate. You know, it's very different from the typical middle school and high school setting that, that a lot of students are in now, where they, they go to school at eight o'clock in the morning, they come home at three o'clock, and it's video games till dinner, You know, some homework, some of those type things. We try to really instill a structure and, and a, a personal responsibility in our in our students so that that they're they're able to develop those skills that we we really focus on in our four pillars and so like I said class eight to three then they do athletics three to five then there's dinner um, after dinner there might be a little free time but then we go into tutoring we go into study hall um, those type things the students will go to the learning commons or into all and and have study time 
then there's a little bit of free time before lights out around 10 o'clock. And so we, we really focus on, on that full day and really immersing our students in, the, in our philosophy and in our educational model so that they, they get this experience and learn these characteristics that we really think are important as they leave our academy and go on and, and start their career in college and ultimately be it. So uh, I wanna spend a little bit of time before Q&A here uh, about admissions and financial aid. This is an admissions presentation. So, you know, as you're doing your research here, get on our website, www.sjnma.org, and, and, and go through the website. If you're really interested in continuing this conversation, you know, once you're there, you can get into the admissions part uh, of the website and you can fill out an application. That really gets the ball rolling. And, and so once you create your account and you submit that application, then the people that I introduced from admissions in the beginning, Judy, Zach, Itzia, Diane, and Joe, they provide that one-on-one -on -one individual um, personal experience of getting you from the application to the enrollment stage. And, and so they'll work with you through e-calling, whatever it is, you know, and, and, and get you all the information you need so you can make that decision to attend St. John's. With what we're currently dealing with, with the COVID-19 pandemic, and so forth. You know, we're trying this virtual open house. We'd love to see you on campus. And as things get get loosened up and we go back to the new normal that, that we're looking at as a society, you know, we certainly hope that we can we can have some open houses over the summer. You can do some individual visits over the summer because we really want you to come to campus and meet with us, talk with us, campus, and make sure that St. John's Northwestern is a fit for you. Um, one final thing that from an admission standpoint I want to touch on is financial aid. You know, once again, in connection with what we're dealing with here as a society, we know that that people are are struggling with jobs and and, and having, you know, paying for a bit education and a boarding school education can be changing now more than ever. I just want you to know that we very closely with families on making as uh, St. John's Northwestern affordable. And, and so part of the the normal discussion that you will have with your admissions counselor as you're going through the process is talking about the finances. And so we want you initially to really get in, see what we're all about. We posted a brand new virtual tour yesterday that you can link to from our website, from our Facebook page here. Um, you can link to that and, and go through the, the tour of campus and see what it's all about. But we really encourage you, once we get to the point where you're wanting to move forward, the admission staff will be asking you about finances and how are we gonna afford this and how can we help and how can we work with you on that. Every family has a different situation. So, so we handle that on an individual basis with you and, and if we're the right fit and we can, we can form a relationship, um, we'd be glad to work with you on making St. John's Northwestern affordable. So like I said, the bottom line there is if you're interested in continuing the conversation, please get out on the website, you can fill out an inquiry form, you can fill out an application, get that ball rolling. And once that happens, our staff is working through this right now, even though we're working from home. Um, they're still reaching out every day as, as these applications and inquiries come in. We're working with you um, on this process and, and as things develop, we'll, we'll continue to communicate that with you. So with that said, at this time, uh let's see i think i want to open it up for questions and so if anybody has any questions if you'll go into the comment section and please log in and or write your comment and and put that in here um we'll just kind of give it a minute here um, for any questions Okay, not seeing a lot of questions. Um, Well, 
not seeing any questions, I am going to, to wrap it up. Um, uh, I'd like to thank you all once again for joining us today. Um, you remember our website, www.sjnma.org. Uh, um, you know, there you can find our latest COVID-19 information. And so as our different announcements come out, they're posted directly to our webpage. That's the most reliable source for those things. And so as, as you know, in Wisconsin here, the last uh, yesterday, there was the announcement that our home was extended to May 26th. And so, um, you know, we're, we're working on our response to that. And so you will see that on our website. Remember the virtual tour I just talked about? That's available out there as well. Um, we, we also have summer camps. So I know that it's been extended to May 26th at this point, but we do have our summer camps, <laughs> excuse me, um, that start in the end of June. So June 20, uh, we have three options there. We have a Lan little Lancer day camp. And so that, that's students one through six. They can come and spend a, the day on campus for all week. So it's just a day camp and we do different activities with them um, around campus. Um, just to get them uh, um, locked in on, on having some fun, being outdoors and doing those things. Then starting um, also on the 20th of June, we have our academic ops program. And so that's our summer school. And so we have uh, many different options there. Students can take classes during the day. They can take two classes and do go morning and afternoon. Um, they can take a class in the morning or in the afternoon and do um, some physical activities in the morning or afternoons in conjunction with that. So it's just kind of a, an interesting program and all this is on our website in our summer academies area. And so if you're you're looking to, to take a class uh, going into next year, but also wanna have some fun, um, that fun program is available. Once again, there's boarding option with that and there's also a day option with that if you just wanna come for the, for the academic part of things. Um, so, and then we have adventure camp. So if you're not really interested in the academic side of things, you can come for three weeks in the middle there where you're on campus for the week. Each day you're spending time um, outdoor, or a rappel tower, doing some different, many different activities um, throughout, not only on campus, but in the, in the area as well. I'm, I'm looking at some text coming in. I'm not seeing the questions come in and I'm getting some text that there are questions out there. So I'm, I'm not sure where I would, I, I'm going to be seeing those. So from a financial aid standpoint on summer camps, um, you know, once again, as you do that application and you're coming for a summer camp, we will work with you um in, in trying to make it affordable you know and 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 do those things um so so don't be afraid to ask we'll work with you on doing those things um i'm just sorry i'm looking away i'm checking checking my phone with some of the texts um that i'm i'm getting here i'm still not able to see any questions apologize for that Yeah, so I'm, I'm, once again, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm getting uh, comments from, from staff people that are on telling me, you know, where the comments are and so forth, but I'm not, I'm not able to, to find those um, at this time. So, so once again, the, one of the questions I know has come through is financial aid for the summer. Once again, we'll work. We, we will definitely work with you on, on affordability there. Um, we are, you know, we don't have a lot of financial aid in the summer. In the current situation and circumstances, once again, we wanna, we wanna work with families to get them to the academy to see what we're all about. And, and so, so don't let that be a barrier to, to coming on board with us. Um, OK. 
Okay. Says folks, I'm trying to. Yeah. So I'm checking some of the. I'm still not. I apologize. I'm still not seeing the comments, and I'm. Oh, there we go. Sorry, just got it. So the question from Eugenio: How is St. John's doing in business? At this point, we are doing our online instruction for our students, so we're trying to keep, um, <coughs> you know, our, our education process going, and, and so our teachers are doing things online. Um, through videos and so forth. So at, at this time, we are continuing. We're just not able to be on campus and provide that full experience, but we are still committed to our students and working with them uh, to <coughs> to finish the school year and 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 preparing for next year, um, whatever that would look like as as we continue to monitor the situation and move forward. Bill and Amanda, thanks for your question. For, thanks for your comments. Um, Judy, I've got yours there. Let me scroll here. Thank you, Alberto Otto, for your recognition. Appreciate that. Eugenio, our main focus today was about admissions, and and we're and getting through that. As as I see quite a few people on here. Um, we will look to be scheduling some other Facebook Live sessions and maybe with our headmaster and our academic dean and some other people. Um, we just, like I said at the beginning, we're just at our our today um, and seeing how, how this is going. And, and with some, some of the other uh, people logging in here, we may want to continue this series. So watch our Facebook page. Um, um, Watch our Facebook page for future announcements and, and so forth. Do the current student, Karen Odom has asked, do the current students have to apply to the Leadership Academy? As you work, work admission, that discussion we had, you know, and, and we'll, we'll talk with you, the Leadership Academy and the Military Academy and help you make the best decision. When you fill out the application, we ask that you do indicate, you know, what, what academy you're, you're applying to. And, and so that's right on the application when you get there that you'll select middle school um, and then our military academy and leadership academy. Uh, I should talk a little bit about that. So our middle school would be our eighth graders and, and the junior program and our leadership academy leaders are designed for grades nine through 12. So for our middle schoolers, our seventh and eighth graders, we're, we're putting together a hybrid curriculum there so students in their seventh and eighth grade will get exposure to both the leadership academy and how things are done there and the military academy and so then as students go transition from eighth grade into ninth grade they'll be given the opportunity to choose which academy they want to go to but we we want to make sure that they have the information so they choose the academy that's best for them and so that's what that's what we're doing there in terms of the leadership versus military um continue to scroll here daisy fernandez uh you know we will be like i said i've said it a couple times here hopefully you heard me you know that we will work with you individually so as you apply for your summer camp make sure you're getting to the admission counselor that, that wrote to you um zach itzia judy um as they reach out to you make sure that you're having that conversation with them Okay. Thanks for keeping me on the right page there. Uh, Nicholas, is there any chance the next could get canceled? Um, can't put anything out there on that right now, but uh, you know, I, I'm certain we're certainly not going down that path. 
Um, you know, we have the virtual set up and we have things, so we just have to monitor the situation. We are monitoring it daily. And, and as new information becomes available, please check our website and we'll be working with that. Um, I don't see that happening, but I put that out there uh, at this point. Uh, you know, anything other than right now, we're getting through June 6th and seeing what, we're, what the situation is like at the time. And then we will make decisions as we go forward um, through the summer. All right. I'm to the bottom of the page. And so I am going to wrap it up. Once again, thank you all for being here today. Check out our website. Uh, check out our virtual tour. You know, I really hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, at St. John's Northwestern, leadership lives here. We hope to hear from you soon. Have a great weekend.